name is Sabrina Casas and I'm a community partner specialist with the Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas. I want to thank you for joining me today with our virtual meeting. We're going to do a lot of fun activities, uh, but before that, uh, we have to do our Pledge of Allegiance and our Girl Scout Promise. So if I can get everybody to stand up as we do our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we're going to do our Girl Scout promise. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. Great job. I can hear y'all from here, so good job. All right, y'all can sit down now. Today, what we're going to be doing, we are going to be focusing on science. Um, this is a, um, a thing we've covered already with our fizzy lemonade, but this is something we're going to revisit again, and it's going to be a different activity. So um, this just shows you that science can be demonstrated in various of ways. Um, so this experiment is called balloon blowing. And with balloon blowing, how do we normally blow a balloon, right? We blow it up with helium when we put it on a tank and we, you know, press press a little gear or let, it, let some helium in the balloon and it blows up, right? And it makes it float. Um, helium is the gas, remember? So it makes the balloon float. Or we blow it up ourselves with just breathing into it, right? Um, this is just an alternative way to learn how to blow a balloon um, and to learn about chemical reactions. So like in our Fizzy Lemonade video, we discussed the pH scale, right? Um, as we go from left to right, it defines each um, chemical solution as an acid or a base. Now in the middle, within the six, seven, or eight range, we have our neutral, which means um, that it's pretty much pretty standard, okay? Um, when we reach the acid part, we usually that's where we usually see our lemons, um, our tarty, um, sour tasting things um, but when we go more towards the uh, base area or base region we're gonna be reaching more towards the bleaches or towards uh, an egg, egg egg whites or something more slippery okay but what is the pH scale right I really didn't get into the definition of it so the definition of a pH scale is it tells us how acidic or alkaline a uh, substance is. More acidic solutions have lower pHs. So what that means is that when you see the acids, you're gonna see them more on this side. So you're gonna see them with a pH number of like 1.2, 2.3, 3, 4. That's mainly what an acid is. And then when we go higher where the bases are, we're going to see like 14.1 or 13.1. That's more of a higher pH um, that, that bases mainly have, okay? So what is an acid? What is a base? So an acid, um, they, are a chemical, they are a chemical that tastes sour and a corrosive to metals, okay? So they, they have that sour, tarty taste. So like an orange or a, a, a lemon, lime, any of those. Um, that's more acidic and you can find that in the lower pH, right, with the lower pH uh, number. Um, bases are, uh, they are a chemical that feels slippery, right? So when you think of bleach or like um, kind of like a cleaning product, they're a little bit slippery, right? So they're going to be more on this side of the, or vinegar, right? They're going to be more on this side of the scale, okay? Um, and what is a chemical reaction? What are we going to be learning? This is this is basically what we're going to be creating in our experiment today. So we're going to be creating an, a chemical reaction. So what is it? It is the process in which one or more substance, substances are converted to one or more different substances, okay? So it's kind of like when we combine like an acid and a base together, it creates a reaction, right? So um, that solution um, is created for, through a chemical reaction. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Also, before our experiment, um, I don't know within your schools, y'all learned about the scientific method. So the scientific, scientific method is something we use every time we do it, we um, practice an experiment. 
or we do an experiment. So uh, the scientific method in, uh, includes like a hypothesis, what, what we do at the beginning of an experiment, and a conclusion, and an analysis, um, a, a thesis. You know, this is, this is important to know um, when we do an experiment. But for right now, we are going to learn about hypothesis. So I want you to look deep into your mind, okay, and make an educated guess. And that is what the what a hypothesis is. So we continue on with um, this experiment. It's gonna be really fun. So get those uh, materials ready, and then we can get on to our experiment. All right, let's get it. Hey everybody. Okay, so just a quick review of what we need. We need vinegar, one fourth cup, okay, one fourth cup of vinegar. Um, two tablespoons of baking soda, okay. A funnel, if you have one, if you don't, that's totally fine, but this will make it much easier to do all the experiment. An empty bottle, a pencil, this may just come just in case, okay. And of course, a balloon, all right. So what we're gonna do, of course, we're gonna wash our hands, I did that already. Um, make sure your surface is clean and everything. Put a towel on the surface so you don't get any dirt all, all over the counter. Make sure we're clean, okay? So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our vinegar and we're gonna pour one fourth of a cup into our bottle. So we're gonna pour. Okay, there's our vinegar. Take our funnel, put it right there, and then we're gonna pour. All right. Okay, now that we have that done, okay, we are going to fill up our balloon. So first, with the balloon, you're gonna stretch the top and stretch the balloon, just stretch it out, make sure, because you want it to blow, blow up a big balloon. So just make sure you stretch it out. All right, and you're gonna take your funnel and then you're gonna add the balloon as so, okay? Now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna put in our uh, two tablespoons of baking soda. So we're gonna do one, Okay, we're gonna do, here's one. So it's gonna take a while for it to go down. Ooh, this one down easily. All right, so that's one. And we're gonna do two. This one. Make sure it goes all the way down. All right, we don't need the pencil then. Usually if it gets stuck, you just jab it in there. It helps. So what we're gonna do next is take the funnel out. And then for me, I like to twist the balloon so none of it will go. And then, I mean, it may undo, it's totally fine. Just depends on the balloon you have. The next, what we're gonna do, we are going to put the opening of the balloon over the bottle opening, okay? Now make sure you do not pour any of the baking soda just yet. That's why I said to either twist it or just to make sure, okay? So you're gonna open up the mouth of the balloon and then put it over the bottle as so. Make sure it's securely in there, okay? So it has to look like this, all right? All right. So now that we have everything set in place, oh, remember, uh, boys and girls, to make your hypothesis before the experiment, okay? What do you think it's gonna do, okay? My hypothesis is uh, that as soon as it, the the baking soda hits the vinegar, it's gonna bubble up and the it's gonna blow up the balloon as big as it can, okay? That's my hypothesis. So what's your hypothesis, okay? Make your hypothesis. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna pour, the baking soda 
into the vinegar and it's gonna blow up your balloon as so. Okay, how cool is that? You know, of course you'll have some baking soda left over, but look, it blew up the balloon. It filled it up with carbon dioxide. So it filled it up with carbon dioxide and it formed and it blew up the balloon. Okay, so it's gonna go like that. So is your, was your hypothesis correct? Um, mine was. So what we're gonna do is just take off the balloon, nice and gently. Okay, but I wanna tie mine. And there you go. <laughs> you have a little balloon to play with. All right, so I hope you liked this experiment. I know I did. Um, but remember to leave the place cleaner than you found it. And I hope your hypothesis correct was correct. Um, remember, um, please do not drink this. This is not drinkable, okay? So just put the put that down. And then yeah, you got your balloon. All right, so I'm so glad that this experiment was really fun for you. I hope it was for you, actually. I know I had a lot of fun. But um, I hope you saw the chemical reactions and you made your hypothesis at the beginning of your experiment and you uh, analyzed the whole experiment as you were doing it and see, and you know, in the end, I hope, you, hope your hypothesis was correct. Um, your educated guess was correct. So as we go through the, uh, the experiment, we learned a lot of things, right? So it's important to go back and analyze what we've learned. So I have a couple of questions here. So with these questions, I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pencil because it's always important to have them in front, have something to write down um, your thoughts um, for future preferences if you want to go back and remember what you've learned, okay? So our questions today are, number one, what are some other chemical reactions that you can think of, okay? One of the chemical reactions that I can think of are, are when we did our fizzy lemonade. Um, that is a one experiment that we did that was a chemical reaction, so that's one. Number two, can you have a couple of, oh, can you name a couple of acids? Can you name a couple of bases? That's what we've, we've been doing, um, learning about chemical reactions. So remember, in order to make a chemical reaction, we have to mix several uh, chemicals together. So you have your acids and your bases, so just think of some of those, okay? All right, number three, what was your hypothesis um, that you made before the experiment? So remember, um, I talked about making an educated guess before we started anything. Um, what do you think the, the, experiment, the outcome of the experiment was gonna be? So what was your hypothesis? Share that with us down below, okay, in the comments. Number four, what did you like about the experiment, okay? Now, what did you like? What didn't, what didn't you like? Um, what did you learn? It's so important, okay? So I really want you to get those answers. Put them down in the comments below. I'm really excited to learn what y'all have uh, to say about the experiment. Um, as we uh, continue on, remember to always, uh, Girl Scout leaves a place cleaner than they found it, so please everybody put up all the materials where you found them, clean up all the mess within your, your station, and make sure that everything is spotless, that everything is put back to where it belongs, okay? After that, you can conclude with a Make New Friends song if you would like. But after that, we're pretty much done. I hope you had a good time doing this experiment. I know I did and you learned a little bit today. And as always, stay safe. Make sure you stay practice social distancing, wash your hands, and yeah, continue on with having a great day. And I'll see you on the next video, okay? Bye guys.